happy first video of 2022 everybody so i just started i'd read some venom and eddie related tumblr posts because i do ship ship simrock and ready because I am obsessed with Venom and honestly they are cute together, not gonna lie, so yeah. So this one this one I recently found and read it for the first time, so by the thought. Honestly, Eddie Brock had a point. I don't wanna call my partner my boyfriend because I feel like we are more than that, but partner doesn't quite fit either. Significant other is too pretentious and lover is too generic. The word other encompasses everything. From the other person, alien, whatever being, your literal other half and your significant other. And he got it right. Yep, he did. He did. I agree with this like a thousand percent and like I think about it a lot. I mean what would you call a relationship like? Like none of those sound right and other does other honestly does sound the closest to it. On to the next one. From Lac 27. Watching Venom again and when Anne is naming all the things wrong with Eddie. Wrong with Eddie. It's funny that those things annoy her. But that's why Venom loves him. He found him because of his flaws and that's why they will always be perfect for one another. Because, because they can be real with each other. Yeah, I noticed that when watching the films, I was like, holy hell. But yeah. Also, screw it, I'm just gonna say it. No one, no one can give me, like, and no one can convince me that Venom and Eddie are straight. No one can convince me of that. Honestly, like, you know they're both 40, they're both 40, like, come on. On to the next one, by Scarlet V0ID, or Scarlet Void. Trying to sleep, but my brother is watching Venom 2 and getting everything without the visuals. It's her... And getting everything without the visuals is hilarious. Like, I sat up laughing when Venom said we are not talking to him, purely because of the glorious absurdity of it. Similar situation for when Connor said father. Okay. I honestly bet that scenario is, that scenario is hella, hella funny to just be in. But I wonder if that, I wonder if they also did this with the first Venom movie. Because if you haven't seen it, there was a, f a very fruity scene, which no one can give me a, head a straight reason for, honestly. It doesn't even sound straight, but <laughs> that's another video. <laughs> another video. So, yeah. Uh, they're, they're not straight at all. <laughs> like, I just want... I just want a video of them, like, if they were quite one or something, like, of their brother, like, reacting to the kissing scene without visuals. Like, I don't care if I, if it's a private reaction or anything, like, if they're comfortable, comfortable with that, I'd gladly see it. Because, like, oh my god. That would be funny as all hell. Anyways, on to the next one. Okay, so this is from... We does of a junk. Was was Eddie wearing the same clothes for like three days? 
everything that happens in No Way Home takes place roughly two days. Takes place roughly two days, right? So Ellie just got drunk and then changed clothes or bathe or leave the bar for two and a half days. I'm sorry, or leave the bar for two and a half days. <laughs> okay, th- that so is just depressing and just everything wrong. Oh my god. But <laughs> Venom wanted him naked and in the water to try <laughs> any way to get his smelly boyfriend to take a bath. <laughs> Okay, I haven't seen No Way Home, but (laughs) I see this, so I buy it 100%. On to, I think, the fifth one. This one is from Viva La Pictochat. Okay, this is a complete tangent, but did anyone else, like, use the Pictochat thing on, on, like, the DS? I used it, like, once, and it was with my sibling. Which that's sad on its own, but like, I remember that. I remember that well. I can't believe Eddie and Venom got kidnapped to another dimension on their honeymoon. <laughs> yeah, no one can convince me that the Mexico post credit scene from Let There Be Carnage is not a honeymoon. No one can convince me of that. They definitely profess their love for each other. So, therefore, it's a honeymoon. <laughs> Technically, it's a honeymoon. Try changing my mind. I think I'm going to do like a couple more. Maybe. Yeah, I'm going to do a couple more and then call it a video. This is from Zane Claw. Me, watching straight dudes review Venom 2 saying they didn't like the movie because there was more focus on Eddie and Venom's relationship than the actual plot. Babes, I don't think this movie was made for you. Yeah, Ven- the, Venom- the Venom franchise was clearly not made for the head of wolves. Let's be honest. Try changing my mind. <laughs> like, and I also heard that this movie got so many just bad reviews from, like, the head of specifically. So, that says more, that says more, <laughs> just in general, than I think it should. <laughs> On to the seventh one. So, like, <laughs> okay, I am not a monster fucker. I just want to make that out, put that out there. <laughs> but <laughs> technically, Gothic Ash World is right. Sony really went, you know how, you know how, ugh, you know our target audience is monster fuckers. So let's make Venom as much hus- as much husband material as characteristically possible in the trailer. And it worked. Okay, I loved that scene. Oh my god. Like, like I just loved how, like, Venom was, like, trying to help Eddie feel better when he, like, fucked up, basically. I, I, like, I appreciate that, honestly. Oh my god. Like... That's just cute, let's be honest. You know how I said that their relationship was cute? It's more than cute. Honestly. This one is from Madame Izuki. Madame Izuki. Must the movie be good? Isn't it enough just to watch a petty disaster of a man in a loving domestic gay rela- gay partnership with a ravenous alien goo. Honestly, if, if Sony just made that the entire movie with no carnage or, like, villains or anything, I'd pay money, honestly. Like, you t- you're telling me that that would not be cute, that that would not be, like, the best rom-com ever? Are you kidding me? A movie where Venom and Eddie just have, like, a cottage in the woods. Oh, my God. If anyone writes that, hook me up. I will read it, honestly. (sighs) On to the next one. Oh, my God. (laughs) I'm laughing because... (laughs) From Tonky Sexiest. 
I mean Tonky sexes. Missing one letter, Tonky. I'd fix that. The MCU is homophobic. The MCU is homophobic because their stupid motivus set interrupted Eddie and Venom's honeymoon. Yeah, the audacity. <laughs> yeah, like, when I saw this scene, when I saw this, like, after the credit scene, like, in the theater, when, 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 like, that um, news report for, like, the Daily Bugle about Spider-Man came on. I don't think I've ever been so disappointed in my entire life. Like, I mean, I'm not mad that they were in the MCU. I am not mad about it. I just, like, I just don't feel like they necessarily belong. Like, the specific, like, like, I just don't think that the movie Venom, the movie version of Venom specifically belongs in the MCU. But, like, I could be wrong. I could, like, say that in, like, the future. But, like, that's how I feel. Because, like, like, their, like, storyline and, like, everything does not fit with the MCU. At least from what I've seen. So, honestly, yeah. So, I think this will be the last one that I'm going to do for now. And it is from... It is also from... We does of a junk. Honestly, I think about this post a lot, and I haven't seen No Way Home, but I wish they did this. Because that would just be funny and just amazing. Like, it would be literal cinematic poetry, honestly. You know what would be hilarious in Spider Man No Way Home? If we just see Venom and Eddie. In the background of a bunch of shots, but he's just hanging out. He's not fighting. He's not even watching. He's just in the background eating a muffin or something. <laughs> just Eddie and Venom, like, having, like, a couple's duo, I guess you could say, over, like, a donut or something. Or, like, chocolate. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, that would just be great. They're just not, inv- they're just not involved at all. Just there maybe there's a big battle and we see eddie and venom having a picnic in the park or eating chocolate they're just they're just a really weird easter egg in every shot oh i i wish sony did this oh my god just an alternate version where like this is a thing oh my god i would love that honestly so, yeah, that's a wrap of me reading some Venom-related Tumblr posts. If you liked this, please, if you liked this, honestly, please just like the video and just, yeah. I thought I'd start the new year off with something funny. And just lighthearted. So I hope you enjoyed this. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Happy 2021 everybody. I mean happy first video of 2022 everybody